guys doing this is an analysis for the Dow industrial let me start with my thesis this is the daily price action I'm not I'm not I didn't plot the Elliott wave uh, thing here but I, I, I could just uh, <laughs> make you see it so uh, this is could be a a B of of a C right here which became a B forget about these things so a B C B you know sorry I didn't do it a B the C put it here so it's going to be a C, and it's going to be a whole B, and after that, a flush. A total bear market. This is a bear market rally. This is five waves up, five waves down, became A. This is A, and this is a B. This is what you care about right here. The, that, the, those, those were my boxes to, 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 look, to see the Fibonacci extension and the targets. I, I drew a box here, and it gave me 127. That gave me A here. And I did the same thing here. I drew a box and it gave me 127 right here. And this is one, two, three, four, typical four, five, C. C became a B. So ABC is, is not an Elliott symbols. It's just uh, like an ABC. It's a different chart. So this is my, my uh, thesis, big A, big B. So let's go to conventional technical analysis. This is a dark cloud cover. This is a dark cloud cover that came with a little bit uh, above uh, average volume. And the dark uh, cloud cover is not really good. Usually dark uh, cloud cover will go to at least to the half of this body. But yet, it's, it's, it's definitely a bearish thing. It's definitely a bearish. So let me show you why do I think this is be based on a Fibonacci extension. So uh, from here to here, this gives us 162 it's 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 the the target 162 is usually a, a termination a termination point and the same thing happened here it's almost gave us 76 almost one to one so so this is a termination and also i did that here i i i, I did fibonacci extension right here and it gave us almost close to here so based on fibonacci extensions also we might have we might have a, a, a B okay might have a B it's a B right here based on Fibonacci extension so we looked at the uh, daily time frame let me look at the monthly time frame I've been talking about this for for weeks now uh, and it's it's uh, I did a lot of um, a lot of work here and I really believe it for reals uh, this is uh, I'm debunking let me, okay I'm debunking the idea of a v-shaped recovery uh, I, I drew a box here from 1987 to 1991 this is not a v-shaped recovery this is a flush uh, you tested that flush two months later and and, and you, you made a higher low so that's not a v-shaped recovery and you had a, an orderly uh, bull market rally okay so this is an explanation of this box this is the monthly time frame by the way Okay, and the only V-shaped recovery that I can think of is the credit crunch. Oh, no, the Asian uh, currency crisis right here in this box. This is the only one. And we did not have a recession at that time, not even a brief one. So uh, it's, it's, it's not applicable to, uh, to uh, what's going on today. The credit crunch, uh, we, ha we had a flush. Then we tested that flush twice in the following two months. That was back in '98. And this is the dot-com bubble. We, we did the flush in March uh, 2000. And we tested that six months later. And we tested it later. And we failed. And we failed in, after the infamous September 11. We had a flush. Uh, we, we, we opened the market two weeks later. And we had a flush. Then we had a bear market rally. And another failure of that low. So no V-shape recovery here. In October 2002, we had the same thing, a flush. A bear market rally and we tested it again in March 2003 
and we had a new bull market. And during the, during the global financial crisis, we have the same thing. We had a fl we, we, we started in October 2007, but we had a flush in, in uh, Jan 2008 and uh, bear market rally. And we failed that and we went to this low. So in 2011, we had the debt ceiling debacle and we had a flush. Then we tested it, even though we have QE at that time. So it, it didn't it didn't make it go up all the way. So we tested that that bottom, and we had that uh, during the Chinese uh, yuan dev, uh, devaluation or the manufacturing recession uh, of uh, August 2015. We had the same thing: a flush, then then uh, bear market rally. Then we tested that, and we had a new bull market at that time it, we, we did not go through a bear market territory at, at that time but, but you could call it bear market yeah so another bull market and we had another one in uh, uh, we have another test in june 2018 after we tested that that we made that low we tested it in september and then uh, december 20, 2018 and we failed and we made a v-shaped recovery but it was not a v-shaped recovery because it's a failure of that test Okay, now we are here, and I still think that we are going through a bear market. So I did my monthly thing that, that I'm really, I really think it's true. So the VIX and the daily time frame, the VIX, the VIX, we, uh, the, the VIX now is above its 10 day moving average. It's, it found sellers at the 20 day moving average, and now it's breaking and breaking out of this downtrend, and with with the stochastic making a bullish divergence right here and and it's going up usually with the, with the bullish divergence something really beautiful happens after that i think it, this is it i really think this is it and the macd uh, bullish crossover is there too so i think i think the vix is telling us something uh, we going up volatility is here usd usd i had a video earlier but uh, we might have a one two three reversal and and also the usd we, we have the same uh, concept. We have a, a conclusion of two here and a start of the third impulsive wave. And all I'm saying now is uh, the stars are aligned now. Stars are aligned for total liquidation mode and everything in gold, precious metals are in, uh, as a general, in, uh, in the, the market, everything. And USD is going up. And all we have to do now is just stomp and have a good time, man. You know, and uh, I wish you guys the best. Be careful. Uh, it's really, really dangerous market out there. And uh, just remember, a good time would last forever if you stop FOMO and you have good capital preservations. And, and, and uh, this goes forever. Do always remember that. Always remember that. This goes forever. Love you all.